Greetings YouTube! Today I'm going to be showing off some things that my wife and I collected over the last couple of weeks. I think it's been two weeks, could be three, I'm not sure. Um, but we have some interesting finds at the moment. Uh, here we have some webbing. Now this is two inch nylon webbing, the kind of thing you find on uh, post uh, military equipment. And this stuff normally goes for 50 cents a foot um, online. And I got this entire roll um, for two dollars. And then we have this entire roll of black cotton webbing. This is nylon, the green stuff. This is black cotton webbing. Kind of thing you'd see uh, like martial art belts made out of that kind of thing. And I got that for $5 at a yard sale. Same guy. So great for projects. I already have something to use this for, the black one for. I think I have some ideas for the green already. And um, we have a skill um, power uh, sander. Uses a, a sanding belt. Got that for 10 bucks today, which is kind of cool. I didn't have, I have a random orbital sander, but this will do larger surface areas faster. Um, we have a Husky bike pump, which we picked up for 11 bucks at Home Depot. It was on sale. Um, we have a smaller pump, which will be going away. We'll donate that. Now we have a bigger, better one. Uh, I sent a book about mountain climbing. Attack of the Monster House in 3D um, for my wife. She's a big Monster House fan. This is an empty tin uh, with a with a you know Yule theme, because I have uh, plans on purchasing someone a gift card for Christmas, and now I have something to put it in. Um, uh, James Harrow's Yorkshire, which is a picture book dealing with his books about Ireland, I want to say, or Scotland, I don't know which, but he writes books about areas in the UK and. My wife bought that for her grandmother. Everyday Survival, that one right here. And this is by the same author that wrote Deep Survival, which is a book I have recommended many times before. It changed my life. So I would be looking forward to reading that book as well. Um, here we have the, whoop, it's a lot of reflection there, sorry. Bogart, which is reflecting light so well because it has a lovely library binding, a uh, nice cover on it. Uh, it's just a biography of Bogart. Um, I will probably donate that after I'm done reading. Uh, even though it has just a lovely binding, I just don't need to keep a hardcover around like that. The God Effect, Quantum Entanglements, Science, Science's Strangest Phenomenon, which was in the religious section because I think it had the word God in it. Uh, <laughs> but I picked it up at uh, Goodwill. The Batman Handbook, The Ultimate Training Manual by Scott Beatty, which I thought was kind of interesting. It's stuff about the character of Batman. Um, knives, swords, spears, and daggers. I picked that up today at Barnes & Noble for sale uh, for 10 bucks. A book of 800 plus pages of origami paper for my wife. We get that for $8 at Barnes & Noble. And a set of note cards with an octopus on them, um, which we picked up for 2 bucks at Barnes & Noble. Insects, fact, and folklore, which my wife bought for a friend of ours. Um, I think you might have seen her, Chris and her husband Chris and their son Nicholas. Um, we have a book of Scandinavian vocal assembly called Stambant Bandet. I'm not sure if I said that right. I probably didn't. The uh, Crow soundtrack. And sorry about the reflection. This is just really difficult to get it in there. Um, and uh, the Chemical Brothers. Uh, a Chemical Brothers uh, CD. Um, then we have some DVDs. We have Finding Nemo, which I didn't have in my collection. Uh, the Wet Hot American Summer, which I purchased because it is by the director of Role Models, which I enjoyed, and it's got Janine Garofalo in it, which I also happen to really like. Battlefield Earth, a movie I actually didn't own. Um, the Adventures, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, which is the um, colorized version of the, I think, the 1940s era film, I think, but I have seen, haven't seen this as a kid. Hackers with Angelina Jolie, which is the film that introduced her to me. Um, Clint Eastwood and Burt Reynolds in City Heat, a film I don't think I've ever actually seen. Uh, Pushing Tin with John Cusack and Billy Bob Thornton and Angelina Jolie, um, a film I happen to kind of enjoy, and I have a thing for both Angelina Jolie and John Cusack. Um, now we have some ceramics. Now this piece right here was actually here for the last video because someone was like, what, you have no ceramics in this video? Um, but I just forgot to put it in. It was just sitting on the shelf. I completely spaced it, but it's a nice bowl. And then we have a small pitcher. I really like the proportions to this, the overall shape. And it was uh, made by someone named initials PL. Then we have a small 
round vase, which I liked the glaze on it and the shape overall, just the very round nature of it. And then we have this one, which is a larger vase, which I like the flat kind of angular shape overall. And I think it was fairly well executed and I happen to like the color as well. And this right here is a piece of some kind of exotic wood. I'm not sure what kind of exotic wood. I'm going to use it as a ring holder. I'm not wear my rings. Um, my wife has a new bell and it's interesting because it's made out of one piece of steel. Um, actually, no, no, sorry, two pieces of steel, a tube and then the bell. And it has a wooden knob. There's no markings on this. It has a nice sound. What's interesting is that the, the clapper is on a spring. That was kind of interesting. I paid two bucks for that at a yard sale. Um, then we have some dice I picked up. Um, something called um, Rolled Bones, which is a game. I looked at the, the rules and they're written very, very smallly. All these different dice in here that you put them into this bag and then your each player is drawing different dice out as playing pieces in the game. And I guess you can also buy additional or could buy additional uh, dice at one time because they were like collectible aspect to it. Um, pick that up at Goodwill. Um, Doom Cubes uh, from the Dice Master game, I guess, which I just picked up because they were cool looking dice from um, Hobby Games uh, Limited from the UK. Um, then we have some vintage poker dice, which I picked up um, for a dollar at, at a yard sale. I kind of liked the color on these. I thought it was kind of nice. And I picked up some fudge dice. Now, there normally would have been six in this package. Um, and this is from Grey Ghost Press um, from Massachusetts. Yeah, whoop, my neighbor state, just south of me. But there's only four in the package, but I didn't own the actual official fudge dice, and now I do. Um, then we have a couple tools. We have this, which is a ratcheting screwdriver, uh, screwdriver or, or, you know, bit holder. And this handle retracts here and can be completely removed. Uh, came with some nut drivers, an adapter, and a whole bunch of tips. Picked this up on sale for, I think it was $10. And I got rid of another tool which had a very similar shape. It was a little less ergonomic. So I got rid of that. So now I have this one. Um, and I, I, I did this, that motion. I think you get it more of power and you, it's more of a direct drive than the way a, a screwdriver works. So you, you're doing it like that. So I'm going to try that and see if I like it. And then we have this, which is a Garrity um, flashlight. And I actually own one of these already, but it's an older model and it's a little rougher shape. I got this, it's really nice condition. I got it for 99 cents and I have converted it to LED. If you look in there, you can see that is not an incandescent bulb. That is an LED bulb. And it has, overall, it has some nice flood. It doesn't have a whole lot of throw and there is a ring, an artifact in the, in the light. But for my investment of eight bucks for the bulb and you know batteries which i already had and the light it's it's nice it's weather resistant um you know you can take it out in the rain shock resistant because it is completely rubberized and it has a lanyard the lanyard is a little tight for my hand but i could fit it across the palm so you could carry it in your palm um and it's very quite puts out quite a bit of light um so now i have my old one which i'm probably going to get rid of that one at some point in the future so I hope that you folks found this interesting. We found some interesting things and some useful new tools and some craft project materials. So I'm really happy.